The changes in the biomarkers, mainly the HER2 status and the hormone receptor status, is widely investigated, mainly in retrospective series. The problem is that the majority of the numbers are very small, and so there is a conflict if there is really a loss of HER2, for example, and, uh, or a gain in the HER2 status. But uh, all data show mainly that if there is a change, a loss in the status or in the hormone receptor status as well as in the HER2 status, that these patients have a worse prognosis than those where there is no change. So I'm discussing the Japanese registry, which is actually one of the largest retrospective series um, investigating the change in the HER2 status and in the hormone receptor status after neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Um, it's um, the main, um, um, what do you say, the main point actually is that none of the patients or only a very limited amount of the patients received trastuzumab as part of the knee adjuvant therapy because uh, trastuzumab was only licensed after 2008 in Japan. And uh, because of the retrospective nature of the cohort and uh, the more natural uh, patient population, probably compared to a clinical trial, um, there were more aggressive patients, there were older patients, the performance status was in general lower. Um, the PCR rates were lower than what we observe today, so it was about 25% of the two population, it was about 6% the hormone receptor positive population and about 16% the triple negative population and I think this is much lower than what we see in our modern clinical trials today where we reach in the HER2 positive and in the triple negative breast cancer cohort up to 50% uh, PCR rates.